There has been so much tempest in my life that the quiet places in which my childhood was spent and the quiet voices that sounded there seem to me sometimes not to have belonged to my life at all, but to have been part of the life of another of whom I have heard or read or whom I have imagined. One whom I can observe with considerable detachment as the story of his days pieces itself together in my mind again and his dreams come back to me. And continually my thoughts have gone back to the places that were first familiar to me. And my ear has heard the voices that it first heard. I was born in the city of Dublin on the 10th of November, 1879. My father was an Englishman, a sculptor. On my mother's side, I can go back to a great-great-grandfather, Walter Brady of Knobber in the County Meath. He fought in 98. When my father and my mother married, there came together two very widely remote traditions. Freedom loving both. And these two traditions worked in me and prized together by a certain fire proper to myself, made me an Irish rebel. Or rather, made me the strange thing I am. Pierish agus a Grehar Willy, a giver a Fehishacht, Sroid Brunzig Four, and Sroid Kiena at Anamneha in Yigna Berta in Yov. But own a Vonnega Naher, James Pierce, a Gano Searshut Kleche, Snohuk Gate Kaigadi, Gano a Dariga Huntachlesh, Agus a Hugdesht and a Piercig, Sail Comporda Man Aknach of Ehaka, is he the Foss and Leas. The home life of Patrick Pierce was one where he was surrounded by books. The father had very little formal education. He was a craftsman, he was a stonemason. But like the classic Victorian that you'll find in the writings of Thomas Hardy, who was himself a stone carver, he was a self-educated man. He was not a didact. A huge thirst and hunger for knowledge. A culture in the herd. I guess a business story that doesn't approve Farsna, Madala Tisham Hori and Fiercey, a sprague, condolish shock, a skull, a skull number writer, no, a ray and ears here from Lakia, and a curse all the snake head door, a young and a wailige. Maclean Clishta Diagrasach Visa Fiersach, a V Fierhu Halach Margasur. If you have a lot of people who are in the world, you can't get a little bit more than a little bit of 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 a we are hoping that we will be able to get the money. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in Unsi a chwerer yn zli sy'n prí chosni a chyrs gan cyn. Ac yn da awr, hepper yn y chosni a hrod sy. 
Neil Salmon Yersh is in Tad of Win Homus Mardidor, Bezagaranda Brahuna, Planta and I, Agus Bahoma, Kerti Yenfi. A Bohudzeshin, Honachtus of Yegia, Egira, Kerta Tang on the Wine Samach. We advise all Gales to simply ignore the British law that makes it penal for them to use their own language to the exclusion of English. If they are summoned and fined, let them refuse to pay. If they are sent to prison, let them go to prison. The question can be brought to a head, no other way. Pierce wasn't what I would call an extremist. He wasn't a, a Republican in these early days. Uh, the most prominent people, Dr. Hyde, John McNeil, uh, George Moon and Agnes O'Farley, and these who were most active on the Kushtagnoha, uh, they would be all supporters of the par John Redmond and the Parliamentary Party. Sivlian Mil Negezi Tri, Taugan Pearsuk, Kudi Kushtagnoha, Honanagayge. Agus hosa se gober mar agar hor er fa pair na hagriachta an Clive Sullish. Posta vi lien te rivishin ag dinna de vana hori an conra Owen McNeil. Tan hagar o cailis grise mar agar hor an Clive Sullish late agam agus carsi cultor has mo a tafui cabir a lege agus conspody litera fui arclan de manistrach agus lehaid on. Priv Hospor, a via ega in Snalehanti Shin, na screen or at Nagalga, a carcon tossic, Shakas and Rod Polichul, Estoka Grashe Giri, Afiok and Nagalga, her Greek, Agas screen or at Yahampluch, a horror foil, Ashti, a scree, Garskelt, a scree, Ernos Isagon, Agas Ernoi, Direct Lash Garskel, no Aimshra, Orbert, Sogalga. Maradort Martin O'Kain, Flakshe, on Oskald Fleskoch, Vishay Fui Anol Mopesom, Agus Mor Gyarsh Gale in the Horpa, Agus Ervalak the Stokoker Capshe, Govetokshe, Kosborish in a Kirkantosig, Gan Glaka, La Politilt. Bjog Bain se viega birsach la corsi milita e reshacht na kaska mar nira mor an olisha corsi milita tashgelan goreshe na hasa alar mar de viga fosta agus goreshe sa malach er goin ella agus goros Tom Clark bo hiar goni kien zella pjanax papa er hal gan vehershin agus ligan go vehish griev agus er valach shid na na farogri er griev she en zacht en shin en rode suntasi ga chodzai prebeter. The Republican forces hold the lines. Taken up at 12 noon on Easter morning. And nowhere, despite fierce and almost continuous attacks of the British troops, have the lines been broken through. The country is rising. In answer to Dublin's call, and the final achievement of Ireland's freedom is now, with the gods' help, only a matter of days. The valour, self-sacrifice and discipline of Irish men and women are about to win for our country a glorious place among the nations. Er valak bus glory screen or e filly, Nadini shin, Agus ni honon son sara garfir vilata yet. Dino kamoru arhu, and yowler and iria mak, er valak nilshin cart, mar go private to tavok lash and beersuk, mar yorik or liberalak, a gorsi edakish, a current ve magoni, erin bosch de fein, shakas erin goris, er an over fein, Agus ni er hurhi screwdahe. Da meha shkri star an idachish sentir sha de vik anahavuk lishen birsuk. Bejer gor ente she le tmas da vish a dort educate and you may be free. Mar ervalak tam makala on roi to shin le klas on birsuk. Era niwan gaelok akser niwan ser ak gaelok. Hikshe kocht an idachish. 
he understood uh, very clearly governmental theory and colonial theory, and he could see what the British were doing, trying to denature Irish culture. Um, the Japanese studied the British model before they invaded Korea, at the, and uh, they spent they had four professors who spent a lot of time in uh, the British Museum studying how it was done, extirpation of local culture, inculcation of feelings of inferiority, uh, break up the traditional land system, and above all, language. And Pierce recognised that, and uh, it was the, he, he saw education as the method of you know freeing the country. That's, and uh, that was what his initial impulse was, and teaching the Irish language. It's most education is about fostering. Their education was about repression. Education should be about inspiring young minds. Theirs was about taming. The modern education system as it stands, it's just turning our boys into things. Tuskal and Pearsuk Skullena, and Kate Skull da Hanga Haneran. In a mass shoe, the Villa Muinus Skull, via Grahar Willy, Agus Faro Gavi Marcarege, a Gunna Gaelge, Thomas McDonough. Twitchker Screevenor, a McDonough, a such group on character Kenege, a retok, like character Fursik, Shashin Kursialina, Agus a Martian sort, the Hautishin, a principal. Pierce was frightfully shy. He was also very reserved. But on this occasion, anyhow, we went out to see McDonough in St. Endus, which was at this time in Rathfarnham. And uh, we were all t standing in the library talking. And McDonough suddenly got me by the arm and said, uh, come on, come outside, John, I want to talk to you about something. So I went out, leaving my sister in the room with Pierce. And, Will you see Pierce? Will you see Pierce? He won't stay in the room for a minute with her. And the next thing, the door opened, and Pierce shot down the passage with his head down, like as if he was pursued by devils. <laughs> so funny. Sivlian Milanegi is there. Vogan Pierce of Skolena Gosiv Nuwa, the Hermitage of Rafarnan. Tach bravi tokas nachtu isteag. I live in a place that is very full of heroic memories. In the room in which I work at St. Enda's College, Robert Emmett is said often to have sat. Through our wood runs a path which is called Emmett's Walk. They say that he and Sarah Kern walked there. <laughs> Mar Newan Gorem Macaulay Emmett, Le Fecal, Son Arts, Ach Hossa, Sale Emmett, Agus Gnevra Emmett, a type show in Fersi, said Hara, Agus Hossa Shahain, a Hulsa Tro, a Hoa Emmett, said Hara, Shakas of a play, La Corsi Cultur, Agus, a Torts Cool, La Corsi Polisirta, Higshe, Gagashe, Forberts Mar Proddy, Gagashe Trudza Horsoas, Gagafi, Realtus de Bratana, Inyerin, a Lagan. Uh, no failure, judged as the world judges these things, was ever more complete, more pathetic, than Emmett's. And yet he has left us a prouder memory than the memory of Brian, victorious at Clontarf, or of Owen Rowe, victorious at Ben Burr. It is the memory of a sacrifice, Christ-like in its perfection. In Emmett, the spirit of Irish patriotism called to a dreamer, and he awoke a man of action. It called to a student and a recluse, and he stood forth a leader of men. It called to one who loved the ways of peace, and he became a revolutionary.
Emi Abran mil an egg is a tree, hashtal pardig McPeerish could eat raw smoke. Bally Belg a grill or rail to Tonamara. Hitching raw lesh and gaunter, I was lesh and dini or tula. I was hushy on Huilahora. Fumil an egg is a day, be tax sourry talk again, we sit at Oscor la Hurulach. Tatu Rogarka on its fain a fersic. Ni yen and two cadre of Luguel, Shane and two a goluder. Nor a hoggest two in a mask. Tagan Maravyuk, Neil Dove e Ducker, August Leon or who. Antea v. Conte Grivyaktich, Bin Shane a host, Antea v. Gyalgoric, Tagan Groomer. On the Anil Hosnik on it is Kuntiklishin. Nyader. Is Doi Lum go will go off here, Sakon? Far Grumel Dininta. Ogus Far Gyal Sininta. The actor on Far Gyal Sininta. Ogga Hanov. Ogus Issi on Quidjus Granera den Scale. Nak Oldum Keakun Far Durka. No on Far Gyal and Pierce a cart. Zerere Hale Shilam a Hossa. Pierce a quer space a gorsi. Politiota. Beza go on chalish a trevesha. The trevesha in river. River Gogamore, Vian Folatiot, a Gaidin is Gayer, Agus Voxha Zakaradina, Gun Arda, a Hurser. A Lakshe Hain parts Evactus and Isaac Hainig, Hogri, Hasna Kurzer, Vlad Lea, Agus Agriv, Factus and I, Nakurza Shaw, V. Pierce parts of Savakta, Shin V. Dina Ella, Ernos, Eamon Kant, Agus Sean McDermott, Agus Thomas McDonough, V. Shijud parts of Savakta, Shin Koma, or Shin Hosse Kurania Er Fobotori. Also, she had a tourist already a crinia public docker, a gstrary hill, a tug of a stag, a masked public dory eggs, by all Gorasha Suntus of Gulio, said Ramshin. Sean. Tom. Tom, this is Patrick Pierce. Patrick, Tom Clark. Patrick. How do you do, Tom? How are you? We'd, uh, We'd like to talk to you about the Emmett commemoration that's coming up. Both myself and Tom agree that it's a very important opportunity. Very special day. We have one issue, though. We need somebody to make a speech that day. It's really McDermott who introduces Pierce to Clark, brings him along. Clark and McDermott were looking for a speaker. I hesitate to use the word front man, but really, to a large extent, that, that is what he is. Um, Pierce is acting according to the script that Clark and McDermott have devised. Can I ask you something? If Robert Emmett was heading out there tomorrow, would you follow him? Is there a man here among us who wouldn't? Kegar Hap Clark is <laughs> McDermott, Gamech and Pierceach, Lurford and Agriat. We draw Melis and IRB, a Hap Grev Shero Vassara. Hodernach Lemilanege is a doyeg, be my Pierce, a grind or don, the wheel the farty parliament of Naharen. A Kegar of my Pierce Fos of Ava real to Stochish. We baggered on Oregon, the Clushdal and Huido Rodi. Nisirsha on Rakshaw. A Kbader le dea Gorve Tus Nasirsha e. Akma Krista Aaron Dendal Shah, Todram and Aaron, August Timeshare Quinnachiv, Avulas the Gael, Gondol Igorla, no Igadrev, Le Gal Gadorish, Akeda Ragrit Fasta, Le Love Lauder, August Le Fuer Clive, Tigger Gull, Ma Fjolter Aronarish, Gomeg in a Hugger Crerig, Erfudna Heron. The desire to move well beyond home rule is something that evolves. For some people within the Fenian movement, within the Irish Republican Brotherhood, they're quite explicit about that from the first decade of the 20th century. That home rule is in no sense an adequate solution to the problem of Irish nationalism and of defining what the future of Ireland is going to be uh, politically, socially as well. They do not see that as being in any way adequate, and they are quite explicit about that from an early stage. For others who do eventually become involved in the Irish Republican Brotherhood, they are not as explicit or clear-cut 
are definite about that in the first decade of the 20th century. It evolves, and that's true for people like Patrick Pearce as well, that their political evolution is uh, somewhat more complicated and is, is, is somewhat slower. In Pierce's case, there was also another element that was coming through. His growing disillusionment with the capacity of an entirely cultural project to deliver a culturally fulfilled Ireland, shall we say, an Irish-speaking Ireland. And I think that was partly to do with the failure of the practical project to make his school work. Uh, by 1912, Pierce, through his school, was virtually a bankrupt. The strain of keeping the school going was enormous. And I think he increasingly attributed that to the hostility of the, in a sense, the political environment, the educational political environment in which he was operating. He got no support through any um, state structures and no grant aiding of any particular form for his school. And in a sense, maybe he came to the kind of conclusion that, um, like, was it Mao that said, you've got to change in a revolution. You know, you don't change the fish, you've got to change the water in which the fish swims. So perhaps, Pierce was being pulled in this direction of having to uh, realising that the school, being his fish, needed to swim in different water. And this then gave him the political impulse that we had to change everything about the way Irish life was constructed, including the, the political framework within which it worked. Clarig McPierish la hoglina heron nor a buniagi at the mina sauna milaneges three deg. Agus vi roll larnach agas and agriach don tus. Midar gyan. Glaxem Yonifigis and IRB for Bulmer Hobson. Augsbe Hobson, a dagrig Torres Lake Torach, the three V, Dun Fierceach, and a stout ain't is a giri arrogant of value, the Squalena. Goluas of Lien Milanegate to Cahardeg, Dog McPierish, a Graher Willie, a Ganesar and Skull, Agus Hashtag Shag America. But a Sushkil and a Trudda is Kapshe Howl. I think Pierce was hugely influenced by the outbreak of the First World War as well, particularly the idea of the spilling of blood for a greater end, uh, and the emergence just before that of the Ulster Volunteer Force as well. He seems to become quite intoxicated by the notion of Irish people being armed uh, and being dedicated to a particular cause or dedicated to a particular end and being prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice towards that end. Uh, that does influence Pierce uh, in a very uh, profound way. Uh, Pierce was somebody who uh, had a very intense focus on this notion of sacrifice or this notion of idealism. Uh, he tended to deal in superlatives a lot of the time. And that theme of blood sacrifice is significant. It's very important for Patrick Pierce in particular. The young men of this nation stand organized and disciplined and are rapidly taking up arms. Blood has flowed through Dublin streets and the cause of the volunteers has been consecrated by a holocaust. The war in Europe has brought about a crisis which may contain as yet hidden within it the moment that generations have been waiting for. It remains to be seen whether, if this moment is revealed to us, we shall have the sight to see or courage to do, or whether it will be written of this generation alone of all the generations of Ireland, that there were none among us who dared to make the ultimate sacrifice. Remember, England's difficulty is Ireland's opportunity. Bayan Kogamur and Dashabia Tastal on IRB, Agus Hokrishid Iri Macha Rachtal Rivdera and Kogig. Bunyig Korlevilita, Agus Capagon Pierce of Marvaul. Le plan Idolava Cod Iri Mach, Vian IRB Agiri Achtra a Agru, a Vialhok Takiacht and Fobel. Agus Nuravasik and Shaninin, Jeremiah O'Donovan Rasa. Sukriag Ea Eilica, Idaspontus Olvor de Hoch Nashunach. Here are Berserk and all rides of yours, Koshna Hoi, Tom Clark is here, and Agstorche, Eyana, Hotsassi, Agsabazer, Agus Hokshe, Heinz and Shin, Agus on the Kuntishat Idina Vialahar, Husha, Husha Vimgamor, or Agus 
Istori kur khudishel insina nina olivo lai trada agus vianora chena antawutakhla la dina ayrisa agus ahir tehela agus antakhri darfad ba ba rod mora ermanok gadina irimakh qarira Pacified Ireland. They think they have purchased us. They think they have purchased half of us. They think they have pacified Ireland. They think that they have purchased half of us. They think they have pacified Ireland. They think that they have purchased half of us and intimidated the other half. That they have purchased half of us and intimidated the other half. They think they have they think that they have purchased half of us and intimidated the other half. They think they have purchased half of us and intimidated the other half. They think they have foreseen everything, that they have provided against everything. But the fools, the fools, the fools. They have left us our Fenian dead. And while Ireland holds these graves, Ireland on free shall never be at peace. They think they have pacified Ireland. They think they have purchased half of us and intimidated the other half. They think they have foreseen everything that they have provided against everything. But the fools, the fools, the fools, they have left us our Fenian dead. And while Ireland holds these graves, Ireland unfree shall never be at peace. One man can free a people. As one man redeemed the world. I will take no pike. I will go into battle with bare hands. I will stand up before the goal as Christ hung naked before men on a tree. And I say to my people's masters, beware. Beware of the thing that is to come. Beware of the risen people who shall take what ye would not give. and Caru Lafe had died on with an egg at the shade egg. Thou forcey rebellion of her shell of her pointy order her her foot her flat here. The unpiercing account of our sea of our shallow Holland is here she could the order if it can fish. A temple of Caru can a hen in a role mar ought to run real to shell it off public in the hair and he has she was core and organ if I guess lay she a mark for all grown a public to. of nationhood. Ireland, through us, summons her children to her flag and strikes for her freedom. Shame on you. 
In retrospect, it probably seems more dramatic than it actually was. I think if you look at the proclamation, it reads very well. And it's a document, I think, which is very generous in spirit. And I think it stood the test of time. Uh, but of course, in the middle of effectively what was the start of a, of a war, you have crowds milling around, you have people confused, what on earth is going on here? So I don't think Pierce had the kind of audience at which he was his best. So the impact, I, I think the impact was something of an anticlimax. In this supreme hour, the Irish nation must, by its valour, discipline, and by the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy of the august destiny to which it is called. Don't point proud for you. Signed on behalf of the Irish Provisional Government. Thanks be to God, Pierce. We'll live to see this day. Pierce, I can die a happy man. I've lived to see the greatest day in Irish history. On the wall. We've got to be very careful when we talk about public opinion or public mind. It's actually quite difficult to discern how exactly the public reacted in 1916. If you consider that after the second day of the rising, journalists, for example, were not allowed to go into the firing line, uh, what we do have instead are testimonies from people who were there at the time that do give or do reflect this notion of hostility. Uh, Robert Holland, for example, who was in Marrowbone Lane, talked about the reaction when they were being led from Marrowbone Lane to Richmond Barracks that there was this act of public hostility, that the British soldiers actually had to protect the Irish rebels from the barracking uh, public. Uh, shoot those Sinn Féin bastards, is what some of them were saying. Uh, they didn't know who these individuals were or what they were trying to do, but they did know that it caused not only huge inconvenience, it also caused serious civilian casualties. And if you look at the breakdown of those who were killed during the Easter Rising, you can see that 62 rebels were killed, 132 British soldiers were killed, but 256 civilians were killed. So it's quite clear who bore the brunt of the suffering and of the death in Easter week 1916. It was the civilians. So it's hardly any surprise that there would have been that degree of hostility at that time. A number of the dead were lying around, civilians, soldiers and volunteers. One of the civilian casualties was squatting against a wall with a white bundle. His head was split open like a pomegranate. A volunteer was lying at the corner of Moor Lane, a dead Tommy beside him. I never forget that little volunteer. They played a machine gun on him. Pieces of wool, his undergarments protruded through his uniform, making a scarecrow character of a man. Is Dakar boy on Fubble a vas? August ni fader a yen of an ish, co father son in a year. Akas lair on the Turishki, a tugu a noked on vla clear more hampla, garau rinds wa than a dini. In took me hostel, as an iria mock, a garan agas a clausen fui, agas few in on the rev lodge a fena waslu, em a deran a shachtena. Egan Omkena Mas Grudian to Troctashi Eskri Irishi on Astroil Agas on the start into Fane is Lair Garhakig Galor Lordini, Coswinter Nakarak Akahorha, Leshon Iria Mak, Garhogadur Bula Bosfew than the Kimehe Agasi the Gimacht. So is Lair on the Tourist Greek or our on Tier Fane Skalte in all la? All citizens of Dublin who believe in the right of their country to be free, will give their allegiance and their loyal help to the Irish Republic. Yeah. We have lived to see an Irish Republic proclaimed. May we live to establish it firmly, and may our children and our children's children, and 
enjoy the happiness and prosperity which freedom will bring! He obviously was an inspirational figure, and just having him there would have given them great uh, confidence. But um, you can see a veiled criticism in, say, in Michael Collins's uh, letter where he writes, he talked about them afterwards as being some of the finest people God ever put on earth, and it was a privilege to know them. But he wondered um, whether the middle of a revolution shot in a shell, was that the best time to be issuing poetic flowing, <laughs> um, uh, you know, communiques about how we're marching on this one and that one and our gallant allies are, are coming to our aid. I mean, this was all uh, a theatre of the mind, keeping, keeping the troops' morale up. They were cut off and every day brought thousands more troops to the... The noose was tightening all the time on them and they were being shelled and the flyers were gaining on them. of the soldiers of Irish freedom who have, during the past four days, been writing with fire and steel the most glorious chapter in the later history of Ireland. Justice can never be done to your heroism, to your discipline, to your unconquerable spirit in the midst of peril and death. For four days, you have fought and toiled almost without cessation, almost without sleep. And in the intervals of fighting, you have sung songs of freedom of Ireland. No man has complained. No man has asked why. Each individual has spent himself, happy to pour out his strength for Ireland and for freedom. If we do not win this fight, we will at least have deserved to win it. But win it, we will. Although we may win in death, already we have won a great thing. We have redeemed Dublin from many shames. I am satisfied that we have saved Ireland's honour! Eranina, ni rhyfn dara rawa eg na rebellionig ac yn GPO Reagan. Daily na cannery ho fada le shop a bug a ride and vorig. Oit a chrinig on horle vile tell ich ele, the nor yernach. Minute of Provisional Government Decision, 29th April, 1916. HQ Moore Street. Believing that the glorious stand which has been made by the soldiers of Irish freedom during the last five days in Dublin has been sufficient to gain recognition of Ireland's national claim at an international peace conference and desirous of preventing further slaughter of the civil population 
and to save the lives of as many as possible of our followers. The members of the provisional government here present have agreed by a majority to open negotiations with the British commander. P.H. Pierce, Commandant General, Commanding in Chief, Army of the Irish Republic. Eglahur Teresa Do Erin Saharan, Hugh McPierce, Suez Srod and Vorik, Agus Gail Shade and General Low, Er Hornail Srod Parnell. Erin Dara Law, Davina Bialtna, Kura Kurt Aramer, and Marek Richmond, Agus Derek Kunbashe. I think Pierce got the result he craved. This is what Pierce would have seen as happening long term, that these people would be seen as individuals who made the ultimate sacrifice, but in doing so, created a momentum that couldn't be stopped. And if you do see the 1916 Rising, and it's legitimate to see it as you know, the foundation act of that era of great political upheaval in Ireland that ultimately leads to, to the creation of a new state, and in time leads to the, to the creation of an Irish Republic, well then, Pierce's view was very legitimate and very uh, accurate in that sense. This is the death I should have asked for if God had given me the choice of all deaths. To die a soldier's death for Ireland and for freedom. We have done right. People will say hard things of us now. But later on, they will praise us. Nordadahra. Tourim a fobble eleven idea mach. We couple rode a guest, Arno and Huya Kuradina Hunbosch, Hushashin Ufas Arena, Gahadis Nora Holishit Fui, Dina Kurukumbosch, a Vitin, though we got to Gadonna, Smarshinze. A Hano Sarshin, Shilim, Guramasa Dina Eran idea mach, Guranadina Shah Sasta, Iroch de Yana, Axi Mastic Dina Shin, Agus Hukshala Tishkins Arena, Gaved Fi Shasa and I imprucht Nebratana. Agnes Fuid the Noon, nor of any small Dina Sarstish in the Yenna, V. Emuchdinite Shaytig, Marspraga Akub. The rising had no democratic uh, justification in that sense. Um, but revolutionary conspiracies are like that. They can't wait for a ballot box. They can't openly uh, put their views to the public and get approval. What can be said is that, in a sense, their goal, if not all of their actions, received democratic validation after the event. So in that sense, you could say that, and this is dangerous, in that sense, they had gazed into what the Irish people really wanted. In that sense, and they had understood what the Irish people longed for, which was to be free and independent, and they had, uh, they had made their stand for it. The danger was that subsequent movements would also say, we know better than the Irish people what they really want. Whether the men of 1916 would have agreed with subsequent uh, movements that have engaged in that kind of behaviour, I think is very much open to doubt. <laughs> The good hair of the shell of Merla stood in the last night. Are there any revolutions that deliver on their promises? That's the big question. Is the Irish situation unique in not delivering? on the Republic that some of these people envisaged, or some of the values of the Republic that these people envisaged. What was delivered and what did happen was the achievement of political sovereignty. 
And that was a hugely important part of the legacy of 1916 and the, the legacy of that revolutionary period generally. When you look at some of the other promises, when you look at some of the other aspects of, of the proclamation in terms of equality, in terms of a greater degree of social cohesion, you could say that that hasn't been delivered on. So I think in, you know, in terms of contemporary Ireland, and again, this is going to be discussed, I suspect, quite vigorously around the 100th anniversary of the Easter Rising and the commemoration of that, have we become the Republic of Pierce and Connolly? And there's going to be further uh, debate about that. There's going to be those who will insist that we need to go back to the proclamation, that we still need to strive towards the ideals that are contained in the proclamation. Oh, Roche the Vine. 